What's going on YouTube? We are back again for another training video. Uh, it's been a while since I actually posted a training video. I've been busy doing challenges uh, and vlogs and stuff like that. But on this day, it was a Sunday morning, the gym was pretty much empty and I decided to hit chest. I had no intentions of actually recording this workout, but when I seen the gym was empty, I figured I'd pull my camera out. So started with incline uh, and the way I did this was if with the weight I was using if I could get 10 reps um, or more I would go up and wait so I did 185 195 205 215 and 225 uh, and I was able to hit 10 for all of them this right here that I'm about to load on it's 225 uh, and I did end up getting it for 10 I don't normally start with incline normally I would uh, go with flat bench it's my favorite exercise and I feel it the most but incline chest is something uh, that I'm gonna have to be working on incline and decline more where it's summertime but just working with shaping the muscle uh, instead of building the strength and the power so <clears throat> 225 for 10 not an issue on this day which is pretty much typical uh, for me keep in mind when I train I train fasted so I don't get a pump like I normally do if I train at nighttime when I have carbs in my system. Also, shout out to Gary Brown, GB Fitness. I am recording this on a new blue uh, Snowball microphone before it was just through my editing software. So hopefully it's a little clearer, uh, it sounds a little bit better, and constantly trying to make the videos better for you guys. So. So that was 235 for six and next uh, hitting the flat bench dumbbells instead of barbell I like to mix it up barbell dumbbell machine and cable do one exercise of those four different uh, tensions so what I do here is I start at the 105s uh, banging out about 8 to 10 then 115s and then 125s 125 is actually the heaviest dumbbell that my gym has which is kind of shitty. Um, there are other gyms in town that go up to 150 pounds, but it's just not worth the drive for the extra weight and dumbbell. Again, with the dumbbells, they're moving pretty easy today. I'm not 100% sure. I did start taking creatine a little while ago, and I am cutting, so the weight's going down very slowly, but my, I'm maintaining my strength, which is something I've never been able to do. So I was eating 3,000 calories a day, jumped it down 500 so I'm at 2500 which is still loads of food if you do it right uh, my issue is I'm having a hard time hitting 250 grams of protein a day I hate taking protein powder uh, protein bars are expensive and in eastern Canada chicken and beef and fish uh, it's extremely expensive like it's four dollars for one chicken breast and that's only 30 grams of protein so having a real hard time hitting the protein uh, carbs aren't too bad and the fat I mean fat is in pretty much everything except for whole foods so On to chained presses, and if you've been watching my videos, you guys know chains are my favorite tension to use. I absolutely love the way they sound, I love the way they feel, and check out that angle. Chest looks amazing whenever I'm pressing up, so. These are heavier, I'm assuming they're heavier. Um, that's 205 on the bar. With the bumper plates, I get asked all the time why I use bumper plates instead of steel plates. You can see the window off to the right, it gives the right amount of light, love it. Um, and all of the bumper plates are right next to that window inside the power rack. So I just that's just where I stick it out. Plus there's lots of places where I can put my camera too. So this is a Morris press. You've probably seen people do them with dumbbells before. But with this piece of equipment, it's about 30 years old. And uh, the cool thing about this is the hard part is squeezing the handles together and not letting them go. Pressing the weight, not an issue. Uh, it's getting that squeeze in the mid chest. You can see it's starting to get hard for me there right now. And then I just finished it off, probably three to four sets of cable flies. 
Uh, I prefer doing cable flies over dumbbell flies. I just feel like there's constant tension. And I actually have a friend of mine filming this right now. Oh, shout out to all you guys out there that have uh, people that film for you in the gym. Man, it makes it so much better uh, than just having like stationary camera angles and stuff like that. So That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Titty pump right there. And we out.